It's the United States versus Great Britain. Spencer the Buckman engine versus Spencer the Hornby engine. Which of these top rated toy trains in the USA and UK will win in this streamlined special review with tests on style, strength and sheer power. With the two models together against a plethora of other A4 Pacifics, we can see that there are some problems in overall shape and proportions for one of these two models. The television series model of Spencer always impressed me, as it was extremely close to the overall shape and proportions of a real A4 Pacific. That character has stuck in my mind for those reasons, and his appearances in CGI have always impressed me in terms of how well the original model nailed that complex shape at the front end. If we are comparing the Bachmann model range directly to the television series, then questions must be asked of the design of the Spencer model, which is very misshapen in many ways. The Bachmann Spencer's boiler is too narrow throughout, and the curve of the smoke box is not pronounced enough at the front end. This is due in no small part to the way in which the eye mechanism has been designed into the model. This has a strange effect, making Spencer look very tall and very thin, and very block shaped at the front end, instead of wedge shaped. This also makes his wheels, which are a decent size, look much smaller than they actually are. Further, the running plate has been made far too low, and far too flat in its curvature. This causes the running plate at the cab end to flatten out much more than it does on the Spencer character or on an actual A4 Pacific. Looking carefully at the cab end on the television series model confirms that the running plate did not flatten out at all at the cab end, the complete opposite to that on the Buckman Spencer. All these problems in shape and proportion can be directly attributed to the positioning of the moving eye mechanism, which changes the shape of the face considerably. The question I want to pose is this. Is sacrificing the exact shape and overall proportions for a gimmick, such as a moving eye mechanism, an acceptable compromise in this case? This change in shape at the front end has had another knock-on effect, this time to the tender, which is very misshapen. Its frames are too short in height, and conversely, its tender tank is too tall. It is also by far too short in length, though surprisingly it does keep its 8-wheel configuration. Overall, the Backman model misses the mark entirely for the shape, size and proportions of the character both in its model and CGI forms. In stark contrast, the Hornby model hits the mark perfectly using its acclaimed Railroad A4 as a basis. Its roots lie in a mixture of the tender from the older tender drive models and a body shell based on the modern super detailed tooling. It has some extraordinary detail, such as sprung buffers on the front and rear, separate handrails and a turned brass whistle. It is unfortunate that the double chimney and not the single chimney A4 is utilised, although in my view this doesn't detract from the overall quality of the model, nor its handsome lines. Put simply, it is an A4 Pacific thoroughbred through and through, almost exactly as the character has been portrayed on screen. The only real problem lies in the colour of the driving wheels. They are black as opposed to matching the grey livery of the streamlined casing and tender. This is a shame as it would be, aesthetically, Hornby's best Thomas and Friends model. There's a further problem. It's no longer available. They have discontinued the model, which is a great shame given the character's popularity. If you want one of these models, I've included a link in the video description below, so you can write an email to Hornby and ask them to bring it back. Now we move on to the test of strength. Each model has to pull a train of coaches the standard coach being used for this test, the ubiquitous Hornby Mark I coach. The weight of one Hornby Mark I coach is 5 ounces, roughly 140 grams. Hornby Spencer weighed in at 10.5 ounces, approximately 300 grams, and Backman Spencer weighed in at 9.8 ounces and 280 grams. The Hornby Spencer's tender weighed 6.2 ounces, approximately 175 grams, and the Backman Spencer tender weighed just 2.8 ounces, approximately 80 grams. The Hornby Spencer romped away with 14 coaches 
and could have probably pulled a lot more. The Buckman Spencer managed the same load of coaches with ease. This is the first time I have found any of the models so well matched for sheer strength. A stunning result for Buckman this time around. The next test was the tug of war. The tug of war utilises a specially made double track line, where the two locos would pull and push against each other to see which was stronger. This track has been wired up to allow the models to run on 16 volts together at the same time. It's Spencer versus Spencer. This was simply no contest. Although the two models match the weight of trains in the previous test, Hornby Spencer is heavier and pulls the Backman Spencer away. Now for the final test. A test of speed. The time trial test consists of a race around the Copley Hill circuit, a generic train set oval. Each model will be time speeding around the circuit, the winner putting in the fastest time. First up is the Hornby Spencer, and he's away! And across the line. Now for the Backman Spencer. And across the line. Now for the times. The Hornby Spencer completed the circuit in 7.7 .7 seconds. The Backman Spencer did it in a startling 6.7 seconds. So the current leaderboard is as follows. Not even models of the fastest steam locomotive class in the world can topple the might of the Hornby Percy. It must be said, the Backman Spencer put up a brave fight, burning itself out in the process. We move on now to the recommended retail price of the two models for 2011. The recommended retail price for the Buckman Spencer is $98, which is £60.70. and There is no recommended retail price for the Hornby Spencer because it has been discontinued by the manufacturer. It's an unbelievable situation. The Hornby Spencer is a quality model, proving its worth both in overall shape, finish and mechanical prowess. Without the Hornby model to compare it against, the Backman model is the only 00 or HO compatible Spencer on the market. A great pity, given it is probably the best model in the Thomas & Friends range. I've included a link in the video description if you want to email Hornby and ask them to bring their Spencer model back. Alternatively, you can shop around on eBay and similar to see if one comes up. It's not the only model which has been discontinued, as we'll see in future reviews. In the last episode, Team Thomas won by default when the garden sheds were eliminated. Now, can they win against... Where have the Spencer models gone? Apparently, a tug of war with some little tank engines was beneath the two models, who are instead enjoying the company of some more dignified locomotives, the other Gresley A4 Pacifics. So on that bombshell, it's time to end. Until next time, thank you for watching.